I'm Ricky, and I'm a film lover, accessibility consultant, and I'm deaf. Yes, I'm deaf, and yes, I love entertainment. But a lot of the time, it's not easily accessible. Deaf people want to enjoy things too, so of course we want to watch the latest shows and movies. I'm a bit of a tech nerd, so I'm really excited to share some of the Samsung TV's accessibility features. They are quick and easy to use. You can set up your TV with all the accessibility features you need before watching to enjoy a smooth viewing experience. Today we'll be reviewing some clips from Singaporean indie film, Tion Baru Social Club. This film is a satirical dark comedy about a 30-year-old man going through the motions of life. <laughs> Relatable. He joins a mysterious community that's trying to become the happiest neighborhood in the world. Accessibility Shortcuts Let me introduce you to our new best friend, Accessibility Shortcuts. It's basically all you need to access most of Samsung's accessibility features. To bring up the accessibility shortcuts, press and hold the volume button on your remote control for a few seconds, like this. The accessibility shortcuts menu will appear on screen with most of the accessibility features. To find each feature you need, click the directional button up or down. To select a feature, click on the circle in the middle of the remote. For the full accessibility menu, click the accessibility settings at the bottom of the accessibility shortcuts page. Caption. Now that we know how to bring up the accessibility shortcuts, let's get right into the features. This has got to be the most important feature for all entertainment lovers, to me at least. Deaf and hard of hearing users use captions to understand what we're watching. Once you're on the accessibility shortcuts, scroll down and enable captions. Let's see an example of captions doing its thing. The film really begins when the main character joins a utopian community as a training happiness agent. Immediately, he's initiated into a pretty odd way of life, including a talking artificial intelligence that constantly monitors his happiness. The AI controls his apartment with a disembodied voice. This is why captions are absolutely necessary for me to keep up with the story, especially when the person speaking is not on screen. Auto Caption Position This feature takes captions to the next level. It's intuitive and adds a lot more to reviewing experience. It's called Auto Caption Position. Auto Caption Position automatically analyzes the screen so that closed captions do not disrupt on-screen details. Under your accessibility shortcuts, scroll down to find the Auto Caption Position and enable it. This is really helpful for content with supers on screen. For example, in the film, there's a scene that mocks a news report. Auto caption position is great because it moves captions out of the way so you don't miss any subtitles and text on screen. This works really well for digital content too, and I know it'll come in handy for my YouTube viewers. Separate closed caption. With this feature, you get an unblocked viewer's closed caption by rescaling your screen. Once you're on the accessibility shortcuts, scroll down to the bottom of the page to access accessibility settings. Select Caption Settings. Click on Separate Closed Caption. I'm selecting the bottom original ratio layout. Let's see it in action. I love watching films in full screen so that nothing gets missed out. In this film, there's a bit of a pattern in how the shots are framed. Like in this scene, where our characters are on the lower part of the screen. With separate closed caption, captions are moved out of the way so each scene can take center stage. There are four different caption layouts. Let's have a quick look. Bottom fit to screen means captions sit at the bottom of the screen and the video is stretched out to fit the entire screen. Top fit to screen, as you may have guessed, means the exact opposite. Captions are now at the top of the screen. Bottom original ratio means captions sit at the bottom of your screen and the video maintains its original ratio, hence the black borders on the side. And finally, top original ratio means captions sit at the top of your screen with the video also in its original ratio. You get the gist. To exit, access the accessibility shortcuts, scroll down to the bottom of the page to get to accessibility settings, then select caption settings. Click off. Multi-output audio. 
Ever wish that you could turn up the volume without affecting everyone in the room? Well, then this feature is a lifesaver. Multi-output audio allows sound to be directed to more than one device. This can be great for hard of hearing viewers using hearing technologies. Click the menu button and select all settings on the most left. Under sound output, select Bluetooth speaker to pair with your additional device. Select your device. I'm pairing the TV to my hearing aids. Once successfully connected, bring up the accessibility shortcuts. Click on multi-output audio. Near the end of the film, the characters have a conversation with cicadas chirping in the background. It could be a little hard to hear, so I might need to increase volume to tune into things like tone and emotion to figure out what the character is really feeling. They talk about the concept of emptiness and how it ironically makes things useful, which is really the heart of this story. To me, this conversation wraps up the film nicely. I like multi-output audio because I can adjust the volume on my own without affecting my friends watching with me. We all get a good viewing experience this way. And those are Samsung's audio accessibility features that made my viewing experience of Tionbaru Social Club that much better. This film is exactly what I look for in a film. Dark and whimsical, beautifully made, and something that gets me thinking. With Samsung's TV audio features, I was able to experience the show's art direction, sound design, and really immerse myself in this utopia dedicated to happiness. Safe to say, this movie was a visual feast and an eye-opening one for me. Sign Language Zoom. Apart from movies and films, it's important to keep up with broadcast programs and the news. And this is where Sign Language Zoom really shines. Sign Language Zoom enlarges the sign language area up to 200% so you can see the gesture better. On the accessibility shortcuts, select Sign Language Zoom. This feature is immediately activated once you exit the menu. Apart from the awesome screen features, you can also personalize menu settings so your Samsung TV is perfect for you. So let's go through the menu features. Sign Language Guide. Sign Language Guide is a really helpful feature to browse the menu easily. Once you're on accessibility shortcuts, scroll down to find a Sign Language Guide. An on-screen avatar will appear at the bottom right corner of your screen to guide you through the menu. You can even customize your sign language guide and change its position on your screen. Scroll down to the bottom of the accessibility shortcuts to get to accessibility settings. Select sign language guide settings. In this menu, you can choose to adjust the size, speed, and position of your sign language guide. Gesture recognition. For Samsung Smart TV models from 2022 onwards, here's a sweet new feature rolling out just for you. Gesture recognition allows you to control your TV using AI technology to recognize your gestures. For this feature, all you need is to connect a webcam or a third-party camera to your TV. I'm using the Slim Fit camera for my TV. Once you've connected and launched the camera, click the menu button and select all settings on the most left. Select general and privacy. Scroll down and select gesture. Under gesture, click on gesture interaction to enable it. Once you've turned it on, sign language zoom, caption, and resizing of the screen can be used without a remote. Here are some gestures you can do. To turn sign language zoom on or off, and to turn closed caption on or off, you can also move the position of the closed caption. Use capture gesture to save whatever you see on screen. As a deaf film lover, I can't imagine a world without films and entertainment. The deaf community loves to watch movies, and we shouldn't be left out. People don't realize how important technology is to our everyday lives. It has so much power to create space for accessible entertainment. So it's really exciting to see this much detail and capacity in accessible technology. I can't wait to see what else is next.